Hey guys, it's me Evelyn here on the Renick X Wizarding and today we're going to do an edit with me type of video but I am going to be talking through it. We're going to be doing another icon because apparently icon tutorials are not that bad. People seem to like them. So we're going to go ahead and do another one. We're going to go to file new and we're going to start off by creating a 500 width by 500 height document on a transparent background and I kind of have an idea in my mind and we're just going to go ahead and go with it. So here I have a lot of fan taking photos of Mark from GOT7. He is one of my biases in GOT7. I have two ultimate biases, which are Mark and JB. They fight for number one. And then the rest goes Cho Young Da, and then Yu Gyeom. He's so rude. And then Jin Young and Bam Bam and Jackson. They're all pretty equal, to be honest, but um, Mark and JB are number one. So the thing I'm going to do maybe this photo here which is a really cute photo of Mark and or maybe this one here I'm going to do this one here so I'm going to click and just open it into a new tab I'm going to grab my let's try this quick selection tool we're going to try to select Mark from his image so we're just going to click and drag around and I usually just use this for hair um, because sometimes if you're it, it selects color in the same vicinity of itself so like if I go here and click it's going to tab the same color skin tone and a little bit of its surrounding so we're just going to try to do this here like so I'm going to get this shoulder here we're going to go to refine edge and you see it's really janky we're just going to use our brush here and just hopefully it grabs onto some of the hair here which is actually doing a really good job so just do something like that. I'm going to go here onto the ear and the side of the head here. And you kind of just go around the edge of the body as well and try to fix up what's gone. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to click OK because I'm actually quite happy. I'm going to click layer mask and we're going to get this cut out. We're going to go here and drag it onto our image and it's super big. So in control T, we're going to stretch it down or shrink it actually. And do something like that. I'm going to actually drag over the original again so I kind of want to make a bubble head type of icon I'm going to lower marks opacity control T and we're just going to stretch it down again but we're just going to make it so that it's slightly bigger like so maybe just a little bit smaller I want to match it up like so I'm going to 100% this and I'm just going to on the layer mask with a round brush harness and we're just going to delete what we don't need, which is basically all of this here. Like so. So we have that. We have this here. And then we're just going to go ahead and try to blend it in as best possible. So we're going to harness that a little bit down, smaller brush. And we're just going to try to blend that in like so. And I've always wanted to try to do like a little icon like this here. I'm just going to X and paint white here because he lost some of his ear texture there in the cutting out process. So it's not like this. It looks super cute <laughs> and super weird. We're going to go into our background. We're going to grab a color from maybe his hair and fill in our background like so. Now what I want to do is I kind of want to make a little white border around him, but since I didn't cut it out at all or perfect, we're going to just going to do our best and just kind of grab our polygon lasso and just kind of go around his image like it would be if we were cutting it out. Like so, down and connect gonna make a new layer and we're gonna fill this with white like so and it looks kind of funny <laughs> so I'm just going to erase the white over his head so I'm just gonna grab around brush tool and just kind of do something like that or better yet maybe I have a different idea select you're gonna select his image by holding control click in the layer mask Select modify expand by five and then make a new layer and fill it in with white. See how that looks. Not bad. 
I forgot his head's on another level, so we're just gonna do that. It's like, what if I expand by five, and then we'll just do another layer of white, like so. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, it actually looks still kind of funny though. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and just make a new layer on top of everything. I'm going to grab a light pink brush, blush color, like so. I'm just going to lower our brush and I'm just going to do a little like so. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur a bit. Like so. And then we're going to just zoom in one more time. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to grab my line tool here. I'm going to have my pixel set to like 3. Color is at white and we're just going to make some little lines like so. going to go ahead and just duplicate those two. Go to edit, transform, horizontal, and I'm going to move it onto this one here. Maybe move it a little bit down, match. We're going to merge all of these together. And then we're just going to lighten that. We're going to go ahead and go into a coloring. So browse and bridge. And I'm going to drag a Simple coloring, like so, and then zoom out a marks layer or a marks image and drag the coloring on top. It's not the best, but it looks good. So I'm not liking that coloring very much. So let's see what else kind of coloring we can do. Let me drag this one. I'm going to go in and fix this little spillage here. So I'm going to use black and just kind of like I'll mark this image here. Oh, it's actually the background. So I'm just going to add a layer mask to that and kind of erase it. Maybe use a hard brush tool so that kind of looks more effective. Like just, just to get some more lines. You know what? I'm going to leave it because I don't really want to make it look wonky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gradient here. I'm going to black to white radial. I'm just going to do something like that. And then normal soft light. Kind of lighten it. And then what I'm going to do is on top of everything, I'm going to add a little bit of a light burst here. So make my brush around pretty big and then I'm just going to softness at zero I'm just going to do some little color first set that to like soft light um, we need to sharpen so shift control alt e on the keyboard to sharpen or to make a new layer above all select our filter sharpen smart sharpen and da da I hope you guys enjoy this talk with or talk edit through video with me um it's very different i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hope to have more of you soon bye guys